Point, good call. Nika is starting off Lucina. Yes, that that surprises me the most. The fact, actually, the fact that he's going um, Lucina. Right. Um, but maybe it's something that we don't know about the matchup. Yeah. But Redeemer Z, I am sure, is familiar with this matchup because he either used Marth as well or was his teammate. Um, Nika probably familiar versus Mario. Mario, a very commonly played character. Yes. Um, not the easiest to defeat, but you do know how to play him and you do know what he can do. Right. That's one of the um, best things and drawbacks about Mario being so common. Um, you know his stuff really well. Your opponent knows his stuff really well, too. Exactly. Uh, Redeemer going to have to be creative with how he approaches. I'm sure Nika knows this matchup fairly well. And Nika is definitely showing that he does know it. 87 to 34 right now, only 30 seconds into the match. Mario, uh, if he gets hit by one more tilt, maybe another aerial, he's definitely in jeopardy of losing a stock to a smash attack. Right. You can see Nika right there just stalking him down, walk, following him with, with that platform. Nika very, very good about um, shielding, playing defensive, and then reacting out of shield, usually with side B. Um, just does a really good job of playing patient and waiting for something to punish. And, and as you're saying, he's doing that right now. He's actually not even choosing to hit Redeemer Z, but choosing a spot on the stage that Redeemer Z is not allowed to cross. In the back air, not going to do it quite yet. Great DI coming in from Redeemer, but he cannot take too many of those. A uh, back air again, coast to coast combo coming in from Nika. Uh, a Redeemer nice. Z. Go, so yeah, he killing. went for kind of a desperate F smash, which at this percent would not have killed. Right. But, you know, it could have uh, allowed him to start start a nice little, I guess, asserting his dominance type of thing, you know? Right, and he would have given him some stage control, some room to work with. Um, that's one of the biggest things. When you're getting pressured, you just need some room to breathe sometimes and say, okay, what do I need to do? And if that up, he takes it. That would have been very unfortunate for Nika. Luckily, he does live, but he, he does have to be wary. Up throw. Great reaction. Up throw, up throw. And he does do it. He did uh, have to get into 170, which that you have to be a little wary of that, you know? Right. If I have to get you to that high to kill you, that gives you so much more time to defeat me. Yeah, Nika definitely going to want to look for a little bit earlier kill confirm uh, this stock. Yeah, I'm loving right now this wall that he is doing. He right. is keeping Mario with his back to the edge the entire match. He just took the jump. He almost got it. Not quite yet. And again, he's like jab to forward air. I'm going to put you back out there where you're not comfortable. Good roll read there by Redeemer. Goes for the spike, not quite even. Goes uh, for it again. Smashville. Yeah, saving him this time. Maybe Nika knew it, maybe not. Either way, platform right there to protect the stock. Nika at 126, already 70 on Redeemer's second stock. Yeah, he's doing such good reactions. He 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 realized that Mario wasn't shielding when he was grabbing the legend, just immediately jumped up and forward aired him. Alright, smart. I really like that. Recover high. You see Redeemer going out after you. I really, really like that option. Nika right now having to want mainly playing to avoid the grab. Granted, back air does take it, but it was smart stuff either way. Redeemer showing he does have some fight left at 87%, which is really nothing for Mario. Oh, I'm surprised he threw him off there and yeah. didn't do the down throw. I was expecting that because uh, the combo change from Mario are very real. You can get 80% in no time. Right, and especially at this low percent, that would be a fair amount of damage. He only has to worry about the up B because that is an option for Martha and Lucina to up B out of the combo of Mario. Right. But that's really it. But either way, Nika is still playing defensive here. Um, really smart on his part. He's looking for an opening, not trying to secure the stock too hastily. It's almost like a boss battle, <laughs> the way Nika is playing this right now. Right. Very calm, very collected, very methodical. Ooh, first and, hit. Man. Yeah. And he knows eventually he will get it if he keeps this up. Three and a half minutes have passed so far. And nice Redeemer, push, yeah. yeah, he finally gets in there. Wasn't able to make a ton happen. Only got and one up air off of that. Very unfortunate with the F smash. And that almost kills. This is what he needed. Goes for the Trump. Really good option there. All right, that's definitely making Redeemer. He, he has to feel better oh about no. that, you know? <gasps> back throw's nope. not going to do it, but it's going to put him in awful position. Right now, oh. Mario does get the back air of the jump. But Nika did keep the jump, oh. and he can't reach. He used the side B. I don't know if that killed his momentum enough where he wouldn't have been able to grab. Wow. That was something else. Yeah, really good job there by Redeemer going out and getting the air dodge read to get that yeah. back air. In that type of situation, you know your opponent's looking for it. You know your up B has invincibility. Right. I would say just throw out the up B. Um, with between magnet hands, how fast it comes out, and the invincibility, he would have hit Redeemer away, forcing the Redeemer to actually tech, and then he would have grabbed the ledge. Right. Um, and Redeemer is switching to Rob now. Okay. I guess he felt like that match was a little close. Maybe um, not as deserved as the victory screen may show have shown it. <laughs> well, I actually really like this counter pick because we were mentioning Nika plays fairly defensively. 
This gives Redeemer an option to sit back through the projectiles, and if Nika tries to send him out, he has an answer for it. That is true. Um, I personally would have liked Rede um, Nika to actually switch to Marth because he was getting, he was winning the neutral time and time again. Right. The issue was killing him. Was and not able to secure yeah. it, exactly. And I, I'm positive that Marth would have defeated or would have gotten rid of the stock a lot earlier than 170%. Right. Right now, Nika doing, again, a really good job. 40% advantage uh, within the first 30 seconds of this game. Ooh, great conversion right there. Nair to forward air. I like what Redeemer brought to the table. Great down tilt. Nika oh. challenging him out there. Doesn't get anything for it, but Redeemer has to be on notice now. He knows that Nika is not afraid to go off stage, at least not against Rob. Right. I like that tactical lock just because now it's in Redeemer's head. He might come off after him. Uh, and Nika trying to punish Roll with a roll. Did not pay off for him. All right, up tilts. Goes for the up air. Not quite able to get uh, high enough to get that. Throws the top down. Drops down with an up air. All right, yeah, you can see Nika trying to set up some combos. Gets the roll read, and that up smash is going to take that first stock. Yeah, once he put the top there, he knew that no one, no one wants to get hit by it, and he was just ready for the roll. Right. It's one of those things you do time and time again. Yep, stage control and zoning with that top, just so important with Rob, and really well done there. Well, Nika has a, quite the hill to climb. He's really going to have to maybe sneak in a spike, something very risky. Oh, there my goodness. Go. And he does get it. The safe spike coming through with the upbeat. Good stuff from Nika, keeping himself in this match. All right, Redeemer trying to use the gyro there to uh, keep a combo going. Already got 67. Nice. Bouncing off the gyro into the down smash, 82% unanswered right now. And Redeemer's kind of doing what Nika was doing earlier. He's, he's choosing a spot on the stage, just keeping Nika at bay. Right. Between the tops and the nair, and Nika's just not really finding an answer quite yet to get in there. Ooh, double, double power shield, but no but punish. Nothing. He just stays in shield. And he needed that. I like that up air right there to avoid the setup that Redeemer was doing. Yeah, now it is Nika who is just having all kinds of trouble getting in. He cannot seem to fire away past these projectiles. Oh, you got to be careful. You don't want to be in the air. Smart stuff. Redeemer trying to find an air dodge read. Nika not giving it to him. But at 144%, I don't know if it matters at this point in the game. Fights his way back onto the stage with the forward air. Counters to get rid of the gyro. I like that option. Um, as he was coming down, I thought he might counter. That's going to do it, though. Pile driver off the lilac platform. And Redeemer just grasping victory. <laughs> From the clutches of Nika, game one was looking so favorable for Nika.